everyone. I'm really sorry that we won't be able to meet at church for a couple of weeks, but Wyatt and I wanted to still have children's church with you. So we are going to um, have a lesson here where we can all watch together. And the first thing that we wanna do when normally we would be sharing things about our week, right? And sharing prayer requests is I wanna talk about something that's going on with all of us right now, mm -hmm. because it's kind of scary. All around the world and in Cheyenne and even in our own homes right now, it's a scary time with school being canceled and some parents are home from work and just some things going on that we don't completely understand, right? And so the first thing I wanna say is that it's okay to be scared, but I don't want you to be worried about things because God tells us all through the Bible not to worry because he will always take care of us. He makes us promises in the Bible. And I want to read a couple of those to you. Wyatt, will you help me out? Will you hold this up so everybody can see the verses? So if you get a chance, pull your Bible out and these are some good verses to mark in your Bible and maybe write the date next to the verse um, of March 2020 that this is a time when God has shown us how he is keeping these promises to us, right? So the first one is Deuteronomy 31.6. And this is a time when Joshua was getting ready to take over as um, the leader of the Israelites from Moses. Um, Moses was older and he knew he was going to die soon. And the Israelites had been following him for a long time. So this was a scary time for the Israelites and for Joshua. But he told them, be strong and courageous. Don't be terrified or afraid for it is the Lord your God who goes with you. He will not leave you or forsake you. Isn't that an amazing promise? The next verse is in Isaiah, Isaiah 41, 13. So from another Old Testament prophet. And this says, for I, Yahweh your God, hold your right hand and say to you, do not fear, I will help you. A lot of people are scared right now about what's going to happen, but God promises that he is going to help us. And the last verse is in the New Testament in Romans chapter 8, verse 28. And I want you to listen to this verse and see if something stands out to you. We know that all things work together for the good of those who love God those who are called according to his purpose. All things work together for the good of those who love God. Even the bad things that happen in the world and the scary things that happen, God can use those things for good. And we're gonna talk about that a little bit more, how that can work after our lesson. So our lesson, we've been talking about when Jesus was born, but who was born before Jesus that we talked about? Um, yeah, John the Baptist. That's right. So we were talking about this because before we can get to our Easter story in a couple of weeks, there's a reason that Jesus came to this earth, that he was born to a mom and dad on earth. There's a whole reason to all that that we need to talk about, right? So we talked last week about when Jesus was born. So this week, our story follows up with that. And our story is from Luke chapter 2, about when Jesus was dedicated. Mary and Joseph's baby, God's own son, was a few days old when Mary and Joseph named him Jesus, just like the angel had told them to do. One day, when Jesus was a few weeks old, Mary and Joseph took Jesus to the temple in Jerusalem. Mary and Joseph wanted to obey God and his law, the law that God gave Moses said, When a woman's first son is born, his parents must dedicate him to the Lord. The law also said that the child's parents should give a sacrifice. At the temple, Mary and Joseph presented Jesus to the Lord and offered two birds as a sacrifice. Another man was at the temple. His name was Simeon. Simeon loved God, and he trusted in God's promise to send a Messiah to save people from sin. God's spirit was with him, and God had told him that he would not die until he saw the one who would rescue people from their sin. That day, God's spirit had led him to the temple. 
Simeon saw Jesus and picked him up in his arms. God's Spirit showed Simeon that Jesus was the promised Messiah. Simeon was so happy. He praised God and said, Lord, you can let me die now. You kept your promise, and I have seen the one who will save people from sin. He said that Jesus would save God's people, the Israelites, and Jesus would also save people from other nations. Mary and Joseph were amazed at what he said. He blessed Mary and Joseph. He told Mary that being Jesus' mother would be a very good thing, but it would also be very hard. Some people would love Jesus, but others would hate him. Things were going to happen that would make her very sad. A woman named Anna was at the temple too. Anna's husband had died and Anna was very old. She stayed at the temple and worshiped God all the time. Anna came up to Simeon, Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, and she began to thank God. She talked about Jesus to people who were waiting for God to keep his promise to send a savior. She told them the good news. The savior was here. Mary and Joseph finished dedicating Jesus and making sacrifices to God. They had obeyed God's law. And then they went back home to Nazareth, where Jesus grew up and was strong and healthy. He was wise and God was happy with him. So we know throughout the Old Testament, God promised the arrival of a king over and over who would redeem the people, right? When Jesus arrived, Simeon and Anna knew that he was the promised Messiah. They knew because the Holy Spirit spoke to them and told them that this was their Savior. Today, we have faith that Jesus is God's Son, and we can trust Jesus for our salvation. And just like Simeon and Anna, we can share the good news. So guys, until we get to meet together again, I want you to remember this. Even in hard times, and maybe especially in hard times like this, it's our job too to share the good news about Jesus. Because when things get hard in this world, people need to hear the good news. And they need to know that they can trust that God will take care of them too, huh? Yes. Okay. So thank you. And we will see you guys for the next lesson. Bye. Bye.